and pull and or apart. What are we doing at pull apart? You know how like uh, old people go to the mall in the morning and just walk laps for health? That's me. I'm old and I go to pull apart and walk laps for health. But also, I do have a reason we're here. We're going to hope, fingers crossed, that uh, the part we're looking for is still on the vehicle that is theoretically still here. Looked on the old website. I already know what row the vehicle's on. I'm way past it. Always go to the truck section first. I love trucks. Uh, but this one. 2008. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 2008 F-150. I didn't know they did the seven lug until that late. I thought that was just like that weird mixed year between the Super Duty and the OBS when they did the F-150 XL, which this does say XL. I didn't know they did them that late. Weird. Get this man well. Yeah. Ford. Wrong dash. I need some trim pieces for the OBS. Uh, struggle to touch. Got the hood open. It's a 306. Darn it. You'll notice every 90s, 80s Ford has a brand new idle air control valve on it because they suck balls and these trucks run like shit all the time. Ask me how I know. I wasn't here for a tailgate, but my truck needs a new one. And I like this older style with the embossed Ford emblems. And uh, <laughs> this one's already halfway off. I have to see how much that costs. Pop the hood. That's definitely not an 86 motor either. I'm not real well versed in my Ford V6s, but maybe a 4.0 or something from a later truck. Got the harness labeled. So they were swapping this old girl and they failed. Yeah, there's 95 Sonoma. Happened to notice it's a man well. Got the clutch pedal and everything. And uh, 95 should be a 4.3 if it's the V6, and that should be an NV3500. It's a pretty decent transmission to bolt up to like an LS swap and a pickup. And there's your previously on fire, 4.3. Right around over here, it says uh, automatic transmission. So this bad boy's been swapped too. Everything swapped, swapped. Forever looking for this trim. It never ends. Mm, consulting website finding our donor vehicle. Here we go, row 317. What could I possibly need from a Montero Sport, right? Well, this guy. Fortunately, the cap's right here. I was a little scared when I popped the hood and it was missing, but that's all I need. Reservoir. Had a little uh, locator bolt here. I hold it down. Threw that in the bag because we'll probably want it. Just uh, pried it on out of there. Got our reservoir. I'm going to take these little seals too because I may, in fact, need those as well because I may have screwed mine up. Bonus round. Got me this trim piece because I haven't had that ever. And I got these little doodads as well. Still don't have the long one. Thank God. But that truck had this. I wasn't sure if my truck had this. Couldn't remember. But what does it all mean? Why the hell was I at Pole Apart this morning getting parts for a Mitsu and or Bishi? Well, for that. So, long ago, converted the rear of this car to Willwood disc brakes uh, for like circle track race cars. They look real cool. They sound like shit because the wave rotor is really noisy. And um, they are two piston each rather than a tiny little drum brake wheel cylinder that would have been in the rear of this car. Now there's four pretty large pistons. Uh, and well, first, the brake bias was wildly to the rear once I did that. 
had to do a proportioning valve to prevent doing skid brakes all over the place. But this car has GTS AE86 front calipers, which are probably similar bore to the stock brakes for one of these cars. But we have a brake upgrade in the front, brake upgrade in the rear, and a stock master cylinder. Now, the master cylinder, it was actually a new unit. Um, not even that old. Uh, 13 16 bore is what they ran on the TE72. And uh, adequate, but more paddle travel than I wanted. Uh, now, Nissan, Mitsubishi, uh, Toyota, all use the same bolt spacing in the 80s, 90s, even 2000s. Uh, so there's a lot of master cylinders out there, different bores and whatnot. And I didn't know which size I wanted to go up to because one inch is probably overkill for such tiny little brakes on this car. So my thought process was the next size up would be 7 8 or 15 16 Went to a 15 16 Munchy, munchy, munchy. From a Mitsubishi. I couldn't remember what it was. Uh, this was the part number. The cheapest one on Rock Auto. Ergo, no brake fluid reservoir. That's why I had to go get one. So I had bought this months ago, and I didn't remember what model it was for. So uh, if you don't know, Rock Auto's got some pretty cool features. So oh, we type in our M five two four six four part number into the search bar, which pulls up our master. If we click the part number next to the info button twice, it'll bring up a list of other vehicles that share that same part. Pretty cool feature if you have a part that you've found that works, but you're not actually sure what it's from. Uh, it's, it's pretty neat. I looked on my local pull-apart yard because I know they usually have a Montero in there. Fortunately, the year range is like 89 to 2000 or something. Uh, so, pretty easy to find. So, that was, we were in luck. They had one. Oh, fortunately, the reservoir was there. And the reason why we need it is because... I got our new master cylinder on yesterday. And, you know, we rigged up some stuff to have a fluid reservoir on there. In fact, it's a stock Toyota one. Uh, so my little brake fluid level sensor light on the dash uh, works. However, you might have got my little soaky doki rag there. And um, it's just kind of slightly, it's it's leaking. It's, it's not good. It's not safe. It's not going to work. But master cylinder feels great. So I guess we'll swap a Rooney those those res 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 reservoirs out, right? Perfect. And stop to the dollar store to uh, get a turkey baster. So they all <laughs> suck all that fluid out of there so we don't make a big mess. And their like kitchen utensils section was completely empty. So we got this squeezy bottle and put a tube on it. Hopefully that'll work, I don't, I don't know. Otherwise we'll just make a mess. That's fine too. It's uh, sort of working extremely slowly so we'll get her done <sighs> so uh this was kind of based on a uh resistance fit this little npt fitting wedged down into there and this one same thing the reservoir itself is wedged down into the little gasket and then this npt fitting is kind of threaded into um spread it out so it stays better uh <laughs> We got this real fancy hose clamp to hold that down. So, we're gonna do better. So, there is actually a float level sender in there that uh, must be magnetic. I didn't even look hard enough at that. I actually took the sensor out of the bottom. It goes in this little hole down here of that reservoir because I thought at the junkyard if they saw the little pigtail they'd charge me more because it was electric. In hindsight that was a dumb idea because I probably could have wired that sensor to work in place of the Toyota sensor because now I'm going to have a light on my dash. You didn't let your light shine on me. Shine! Turns out that's actually a self-solving problem. Uh, I was going to make a little jumper wire to go in the plug here, uh, but if you just tuck that bad boy up in there, 
where nobody can see it. If the cap's unplugged, the light goes off. <laughs> Fixed. So I cannot say that I am a fan of the shape and or look of this master cylinder reservoir. Uh, however, the cylinder upgrade overall is great. Pedal feels good. Uh, probably room to go to bigger calipers in the front, but I think if I were to do four pistons in the front, I'd probably go up to a one inch, like Z32 master cylinder. Um, yeah, Skeeter. Anywho, uh, the cylinder is actually shorter in overall length than the stock Toyota one. Give me more room for headers here as well. So that's pretty cool. Uh, however, the factory heat shield that TE72s have, but not AE86s because they're the real sports cars. Anyway, the heat shield that goes here uh, obviously won't work with this master cylinder. So I'll probably end up making one, but it looks so nice without one. Uh, so 15 sixteenths brake master cylinder upgrade TEAE, whatever, 86, 72, 71. Swap.